Oh, it's the grudge match to end all grudge matches. This week, Plymouth Argyle travel to the Bet365 in the hope of sending Stephen Schumacher down to League One. And these pilgrims here are all here to see it, how they're smiling. Uh, welcome back to the Plymouth View. We've got Craig and we've got Jaden and... I haven't seen you two smile this big in this many, many months. How are you both? I'm oh, well, Mark. I'm buzzing. <laughs> um, I'm very well. I'm not very happy with you because I lost a lot of money on that Plymouth Leicester oh, game, um, as I think the whole country did. However, on behalf of the whole country, thank you for beating Leicester. Thank you for making this title race continue to be interesting. And thank you for just proving, just proving that money ain't everything in this league because your wage bill, I think, is something, what, ten, a tenth of what Leicester was. Um, I, I also didn't realise that Leicester had the least, least amount of travelling uh, in the league versus you guys are doing the least. So it was one for the Davis against the Goliath. So well done. Very, very pleased for you. However, let's turn our attention to Stoke. Uh, <laughs> um, what was it? What, what Actually, what was it about that Leicester game then that that saw you over the line? I, I watched it. I mean, you rode your luck at times, Jaden, but there seems to be a togetherness about this squad that we you, we haven't seen in recent weeks. Oh, there definitely is. I think there's there's probably a factor of relief in there. Um, and also just, obviously, they're, they're going to want to get over the line and stay in the championship next season. Um, and if we didn't, then we're going to lose a lot of players. Um, Whitaker may leave anyway, but, you know, it's massive um, that we're going to stay in this league now. Um, and yeah, Stoke, Stoke may go down. Um, who knows who could go down now? Um, it's still wide open. We could still go down, but there's definitely a, a factor of relief that you know only one or two more points may do now for us. Did, do you do you still believe that, Jane? That you you still might go down? Well, I think we need we need one or two more points, but um, I think the way the way the stadium felt on on Friday night. It it shows how much this, um, how well that performance um, really was, um, and how yeah how how great the the comeback's been from from when Foster left. Okay, um, Craig, I think a couple of weeks ago you were you were saying you were gone, you were you were you were down. Um, did they even surprise you on on Friday? I had a sense of confidence that we could get at least a point, but no way stretch your imagination would I think we would get a win. I think it's fantastic. And I just say, Rebecca Welsh, what a fantastic performance you did at the weekend, <laughs> doing us a massive favour, keeping uh, Huddersfield in the relegation zone. And um, thank you, Stoke, for doing us a favour, keeping Sheffield Wednesday in the mud. Massive thank you. Um, all right, let, let's cast our attentions then to, 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 to Stoke City. Um <sighs> Dare I ask what the reception is going to be like for for, for, for Schumacher? I, 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 well, I think I know what it's going to be like, but Craig, you'll be there. Um, I wish what, I could. I wish I could make it. I couldn't get a ticket in the end. Oh, you can get to okay. What um, what sort of what sort of words do you think um, the Plymouth travelling fans will have? We're not going to have plastic snakes, are we? Being being whirled in the air, things like that. Oh, I wouldn't sure it'd be a friendly atmosphere um, after I call him the rat after what he did to us. You know, there's no, you know, I know he was a great manager, but if you leave halfway through this, you know, you're just a rat. He, he you know, he's, I've had no affiliation with him since he's left. I think the players will be up for it. They want to get one over on him and put Stoke in a deep, deep, deep load of trouble if we win this. I think confident we are going to win this, Mark. I am. Um, Jaden. What's your what's your view on how uh, how Schumacher should be treated by the travelling faithful? Um, personally, I, I really, really, really liked him as a manager, as we all did. But the way he left was obviously not the best. Um, trying to to keep Argyle fans on his side, but yeah, um, I don't know how much the Stoke fans love him over there. So. Yeah, not much at the moment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so there you go. But um, yeah, I think the re reception obviously won't be good, but um, I, I don't think it's going to be too bad for what he did for us. Okay, uh, Luke Cundall, um, of all players, was the one to bundle the ball over 
uh, the line uh, at, at Hillsborough, which just keeps Sheffield Wednesday down there. Of course, um, as a Wolves player, he is eligible, I think, to play against you guys. Um, no hard feelings towards him? Do you know what? Do you know what I'm more concerned about is Niall Ennis and Luke Cundall because they're both ex Plymouth players. So I'm more concerned about both of them want to try and get one over on us. But I, I think uh, Alan Randall and uh, at Four Shaw can have him in his back pocket. Um, I'm not worried about Cundall. He hasn't really done a lot of Stoke. Do you know what's funny, Mark? I went on Twitter that Stoke are trying to advertise to get more fans into their stadium, which I thought was quite hilarious. I don't know if you've seen that on social media, but they're begging fans to come and watch him play of the weekend. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. A lot maybe laugh on Twitter. Okay. Um, all right, then. Um, the EFL uh, team of the year was announced uh, this weekend and um, Morgan Whitaker uh, made it in there. Um, deserved, Jaden? Yeah, of course. I think, um, personally, I, I, I made one of of my own the other day um, did my own sort of team of the season I, I didn't put him in to be honest I put um, Jack Clark and um, Somerville on in the wings but I just think he's obviously scored loads of goals but um, yeah obviously he's he's helped us so much in this season but I'm, I'm not too sure um, if it was deserved it was obviously deserved but I don't know if you know, another player deserved in, to be in there more sort of thing. Uh, Craig, your view on that? Uh, Morgan Wicked, Morgan Whitaker deserves to be in there every day of the week. He's been a fantastic player. He was electric at the start of the season. All right, he's tailed off towards the back end, but for the majority of the season, you know, to be a relegation scrap that we're in at the moment, you know, I think he deserves to be in there 110%. So I think most of us would agree with that one. All right, let's have a look at the players then out of contract then um, for Plymouth and let's get your view on uh, on these. Um, first off, um, we've got the lone players, Alfie Devine, Ashley Phillips and uh, and Sousa. Um, we were breaking the bank to sign in these permanently, uh, Craig? Um, Alfie Devine, don't want to see him play for the football club again. Not good enough for Nito. Bye-bye, back to Spurs. Sousa, adios to Villa. Um, I would like to see Ashley Phillips, but realistically, Mark, he's going back to Spurs and, you know, he, he's got a good, a lot of uh, potential ahead of him. I don't think Spurs will let us sign him, but if I could uh, have any one of those players, I'd have Phillips back 110%. Uh, Jaden, there's um, there's a couple of defenders here out of contract, um, both with obviously decent <laughs> ages as well, Brennan Galloway and Mikel Miller. Um, where do you stand on those players getting uh, extensions? Um, yeah, I think it's confirmed they're leaving now pretty much. So um, Miller's had a had a good season for us um, and Galloway is very reliable always. I uh, don't think we've actually lost um, a home league game or some, it's something stat like that under him uh, or with him in the team. So yeah, I think he, he was very reliable and I wish we could have kept him, but yeah, he's, I think it's confirmed they're leaving now. So okay. tough luck. Um, and Callum Burton, Craig? Um, I think it's a tricky one with Burton because obviously he was a fantastic servant for us in League One, but I think we owe him, you know, I think he deserves to move on in terms of, you know, playing for his career. You know, he needs to go and play first team football. But if the club were offer him a new contract to be a third choice goalkeeper, I wouldn't be, you know, upset with that. I think it'd be a good move. Okay. All right, let's get some score predictions from either of them please, um, for Stoke-Plymouth game this weekend. Uh, Jaden, you go first for me. I think 2-1 Plymouth. <laughs> the optimist is back. The optimist is back. Craig? Oh, gee, I think it's going to be... I think we have to be cautious but very optimistic that, you know, Stoke won't, won't be playing us after playing us. So I'm going to go 3-0 Argyle. Even more optimistic. <laughs> what a win does for you. Crikey. Okay. All right. If you are a Plymouth Argyle fan, I'd love to get your views on uh, on Schumacher and and Kundal and all those that you're going to be meeting again. And then uh, two more games to go. Um, one more point, do we reckon, then? 1-1 one, one against Stoke. Would you take it now just to secure your safety or do you really want to send them down? I'd, I'd take it, personally. Um, do you know what? I, I wouldn't settle for a draw, Mark, because... 
I mean, obviously in the grand scheme of things, yeah, but I think we can win this game. I think, you know, we should go out there and put Stoke to the sword. You know, they're in the mud. You know, their fans don't like their manager. Let's use that atmosphere against them and just go out there and absolutely batter them because we've got okay. the quality to be able to do it. Let's just go out there and get the job done. All right, fair dues. All right, thanks for joining us on the Plymouth View. Well done against Leicester. Fantastic. Always good for the Championship, those kinds of results. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week to preview uh, review how the Stoke game has gone. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>